watching ABC4 News. Welcome back. Right now, Utah's on the fast track in finding the best hemp plant in the nation. That'll raise some eyebrows. Well, under researchers at Utah State University in Logan have gotten the green light in studying the hemp plant to bring the highest concentration of CBD oil with the lowest THC level, the compound that makes you high. ABC 4's chief medical correspondent, Sir H. Chin, has more on the man behind this intense research. Utah State University is the only school in the state certified to research hemp, and it's largely because of Dr. Brian Bugby, the nation's leading plant physiologist. The incredible knowledge they're gleaning is being used right now for growers to hopefully help patients and rejuvenate farms. We show you the exclusive process and journey as Utah is poised to become the industry's leader in growing hemp. So these are female cannabis plants. Ground zero in hemp research in the Beehive State and perhaps the country, Utah State University. We're the agricultural university for Utah and we're the only... Brian Bugby is scientist in charge. The professor of crop physiology at USU has gained such a reputation. NASA has funded his research for years on growing food in space. My laboratory for many decades has specialized in the use of controlled environments to look at crop quality and crop yield. Back on Earth, he's been tasked in bringing the best hemp plant to growers. Then it's, then it's done. It's done. And they're close to being ready when they're ripe. In order to go from plant life to pain relief for suffering patients, Bugby goes through a weeding out process, finding the best condition for the right variety plant with high CBD and low THC levels, no more than 0.3%. We often say there's nine cardinal parameters. It's critical to grow only the female plant. The male plants are duds. What's worse, the male plants can contaminate the rest of the crop. Dr. Bugby uses what's called clonal propagation, rooted cuttings off the mother plant and replanting. And it's a genetically identical copy of the mother plant. And we can make, we could take this plant and make 50 small plants from it and they'll all grow to this size and they'll all be female. Every part of the plant is put under a microscope. We control the nutrients, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. A big part of the research is daylight hours and lighting. Then at the critical moment, after the cuttings get about this big, we move them into growth chambers. Every one of these machines has to have a certificate by the Utah Department of Agriculture. These plants are in a very controlled environment. Even these doors can only be opened at certain times of the day. From here, the clippings get a police escort to the Utah Water Research Laboratory where USU environmental engineering professor Bill Doucette analyzes the plant. So this is actually the, the hemp flower, and we're going to actually crush all that. Go ahead and just crush it against the side of the... We transfer it into a vial. We take roughly a gram. So the next step then is to put it in the multiple. We've got a, an automated extractor. It does multiple samples at a time. And you can see that it's very dark green, yeah. and that's the chlorophyll from the plant material. In the future, extracting CBD oil will look similar to this process on a much larger scale. Doucette is in a constant cycle. Grind, extract, analyze as Bugby's batches of hemp arrive. So far, the THC levels are below the 0.3%, so really good that news. is good news. Research at USU is possible because of the new farm bill last December, making hemp legal on a federal level and allowing universities to do research. A new crop is very exciting and um, there's a, just so much interest in this crop because there's so much in front of us, so much we don't yet know. Bugby says he still gets excited about the old plants, but he knows a lot is riding on his research. Cannabis and hemp specifically has the potential to rejuvenate many Utah farms. Is that amazing knowing that you're going to help people like feel better and be out of pain and what your research is could, could really exponentially change science? We hope so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
USU is one of only a handful of universities in the U.S. conducting this type of research, and they've only been doing it for a few months since the federal farm bill passed. Tomorrow, we dive into how a local grower is partnering with USU to help farmers become the best in the nation in industrial hemp production. Sarai Chin.